Hello and welcome back. Um, we are uh, in the middle of the uh, 5-3 build. Um, but this little segment here that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to mod your oil pump. Stock oil pump. And a lot of people only do one part of this. But there's actually two parts of this to get your oil pressure up. Because the oil pump has a pressure relief valve with a spring in it that we are going to modify to give us more oil pressure. But even though that you do that part of it, there is a second part that you need to do to get the oil pressure up. Because there's actually there's two pressure relief valves in an LS engine. Um, I'm going to spin you around. The first... Is here's the oil pump and here's your pressure release valve. There's a spring inside here. We are going to shim this plug here to give us about a quarter inch more of pressure on that spring and that will up our oil pressure. But even though we did that and say it gives us from 40 to like 50 pounds or 60 or whatever, there is a second pressure relief valve and that is in your oil pan right here. Now there's not much we can do with this valve, but there's only one thing we can do and we can, this is a top retainer and there's a spring here. We, we are gonna put a socket on here and just whack it with a hammer very slightly, not hard. Just put a little concave in it and that will give us really good oil pressure. So the first part we're gonna do the spring. So I'm gonna pause you, get you on a tripod and then we're gonna do that, okay? All right, stick with me. Okay. So let's take this plug out. All right. Like I said, this is a brand new pump, so. Literally, brand new pump. Now you see how the spring sits right here. Let me see if you can see that. The spring sits right here. We're going to put some shims in here and give the spring a little bit more attention. So, you don't have to get too crazy with it, but um, I use just little uh, seven millimeter bolt size washers. Um, just let me make sure I have the correct washers with me. And I do, okay. So we're gonna go one, two, three. I'm feeling froggy, so let's go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so come on out of there. All right, well, there's one in there already. So one. And then we're going to use, these are the washers that I use. They're a little, uh, I'm sorry, not, they're five millimeter bolt size. Five millimeter bolt size washers. I don't know how big the outside diameter M is. It looks about maybe eight or seven millimeter. But what you do is you just stack some washers in there like that. It gives you a little bit of divot room here for the spring to sit in. Gives you just a, a little bit. I don't know if you can see. Just a little. But then you just put that like that. Now, this actually is the hard part to get this started. So, um,. It wants to jump around on you. And you gotta find that first thread. Okay. Here we go. Now a quarter inch. This should that should lift it up to about sixty, maybe seventy pounds. But we'll we won't know until we start it. But. All right, and then we give it a little, uh, 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 there, nice and tight. And that part, 
is done. It's okay, it's slick. So, all right, so now, let me uh, pause you guys, spin you around, and we're just gonna give that other valve a whack. So hold on one second. Okay, so here's our pressure relief valve. This pressure relief valve relieves the pressure from the pump and then through the filter. And like I said, this is just a little cap here that has another spring inside it. And we're just gonna collapse that spring a little bit to give us a little bit more pressure. Like I said, one, maybe two hits will do it. There's one. And there's two. Just a little tiny divot. You don't have to go too crazy with this because it's really sensitive. But there you go. There is your oil pressure, LS oil pump mod to get you so you don't have to go out and buy a melling, high volume, high pressure, high whatever pump. You can just go spend the dealership money, which is way cheaper than buying a melling or whatever for a pump. You do that mod, you do the pump mod, I promise you, you'll have 60, 70 or, uh, pounds of oil pressure with plenty of volume, I promise. So, all right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come with me. Let's go on a, an experimental journey. <laughs> you guys remember in the, um, I think it was video three, where I did the oil pump modification to bring you uh, you add uh, a couple spacers into uh, into the pump the 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 relief valve in the pump you add a couple spacers there and then you also do the oil pan so normal operating fuel pressure I'm sorry oil oil pressure is usually around 35 to 40 psi. That's up to operating temperatures. So we're talking the vehicles at 195, we'll say. 195 degrees. It'll operate anywhere between 35 and 45 PSI of oil pressure. So let's key it. Our operating temp is at 194. Our oil pressure right now, because it's not running, is at zero. Let's start it. Sixty-four pounds of oil pressure at one hundred and ninety-six degrees. So, everybody that says that now my oil pump modification doesn't work. Well, there's the proof. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for uh, notifications, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another video.